we ask that all the spiritual weaknesses, all the sadness, all the discouragement, all the things causing our leaders, our pastors, and even our men, oh Lord, to be discouraged in carrying out their duties, in discharge their duties. Lord Jesus, you will yank it off, take it away completely. And Lord, there will be supernatural encouragement after today in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you empower us to pray this morning. Energize us to pray. Quicken us to pray. Revitalize us to pray. Reinvigorate us to pray. And Lord, do something unimaginable even in our lives this morning in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. At this amen. time, we want to give thanks to God and begin to honor the holy name of our God. We want to begin to worship the Lord for granting us another opportunity and privilege to be here this morning. The Bible says, giving thanks unto the Father, who had made us to be partakers of the inheritance in light, who have delivered us from the powers of darkness, and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption to his blood, the forgiveness of sin. Please give thanks to him. Give thanks to God. Worship him in the beauty of holiness. Praise his holy name, adore him. Let's thank him for our lives. Let's thank the Lord for the life of our spouse. Let's thank the Lord for the life of our children. Let's thank the Lord for I bless the name. life of our family members. Thank you, Father, once again for bringing us the second day of this month of October. Thank you, One Father, for coming so far from January to this time. Lord, you helped us in January, the whole of January. You helped us in the whole of February. You helped us in the whole of March, in the whole of April, May, June, July, August, September, and this is October. Thank you, Father, because of your mercy. It is of your mercy that we are not consumed, dear God. Lord, he did not allow the enemy of our soul, the devil, and all these allied, allied forces who have been on rampage, he did not that allow them to prevail over my soul, over my family. We we'll thank you once again. Thank you, Jesus. Father, for the way you have been sustaining us all the day long. Amen. In his name we have prayed. Amen. We're going to pray this morning that the God of heaven we hear us and all the defects, all the defects, rather, all the defects and all the things that are not palatable in our homes, as we call upon him, all will be corrected, all will be taken care of. God will bring perfection. God will bring transformation on in our family in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, I present my life, my thought, my soul, my spirit, everything about me. In fact, my entire personality, God, I bring it unto you this morning, this day. Gracious God, loving God, merciful God, O oh Lord, I present my life once again, O oh God, such me this morning. Lord, look into every area of my life this morning, O oh God. Almighty God, every defect, every blemish, every stain, every wrinkle, Lord, I am asking this morning. Gracious God, let the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the everlasting covenant, the blood that speaketh greater, better, higher thing than that of Abel, let it once again begin to do the cleansing. The forging in my spirit, in my soul, in my thought, in my family, upon my wife, my children, O oh God, Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus, gracious God, I look unto you. By the Wait. power of the blood of Jesus Christ, make me whiter than snow, God, all the filthiness of the flesh, all the filthiness of the spirit, all the filthiness within and without. 
any rottenness there, O oh Lord, I am asking this morning, by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, Lord, make my heart, make it whiter than snow, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, asking Father, whatever thing that wants to stand between me and you, Holy Father, every barrier let it be taken away. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, the blood of Jesus Christ is potent enough, is powerful enough to make my heart clean and to make me whiter than snow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray uh, this morning as we as we make use of uh, as we consider this important uh, passage in Genesis, the book of Genesis. I'm reading chapter thirty one. When then can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Awesome. In Genesis chapter 31, I'm reading from uh I'm reading it from this say. Uh, Of and his family in Genesis 30, rather not 31, Genesis 30. And when Rachel saw that she bear Jacob no children, Rachel obeyed her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children, or else I die. Give me children, or else I die. Now, when Rachel saw that she bear no uh, 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 <laughs> she envied her sister. This was a polygamous home, which is not the standard of scripture, which is not the standard of uh, God's intention from the beginning. The scripture says from the beginning, it was not so. So there was a deviation in the life of Jacob and that was some kind of calamity and some kind of problems in the family. We are going to pray that God in heaven, where there have been deviation in our lives, you know, where I read to in my family devotion this morning, and I was telling my wife that's in Numbers chapter, Numbers chapter 23. And then we were particularly looking at that verse uh, 21 and verse 23. Actually, we started from verse 19, but our concern was verse 21 and verse 23. And that verse 21 talks about how God has not behaved iniquity in Jacob, and how he has not per uh, perceived or seen perverseness in Israel. And then verse 23 now says that there is no enchantment against Jacob. And then I was explaining that it was because there was no iniquity found in Jacob. There was no perverseness seen in Israel. So it became practically impossible for enchantment to walk upon them. There, there was no way enchantment would have worked when they were totally, completely protected by God. And that was why Balaam instructed Balak, introduce your women and that's how those Moabite women went into the Israelite and immorality became like water. And that's how they treated the people and the children of Israel. Many of them were killed and destroyed because sin eventually came in. That method that Balaam used worked. And so sometimes the, the family, it could be the man that he will bring perversion to or the woman. Or there could be deviation in one way or the other. And because of that spiritual crack in the wall, it's able to get into that family. We're going to pray. Every deviation in our family, deviation in any way, we're praying and telling the Lord, the Lord will show mercy. Deviation in any way. There can be deviation in standard. 
There can be deviation in Christian virtues and Christian lifestyle. There can be deviation in one way or the other that were no longer transparently holy and they were no longer transparent and sincere. We want to pray and say, Father, take away all sorts of deviation that can bring a kind of thing from Satan, that can bring a kind of pain, agony, and sorrow in the family. Shall we talk to God in prayer? Father, oh God, I ask Lord, Lord, everlasting Father God, here I come to you, my Father. Oh my Lord, everlasting Father God, in any way, there is a deviation, oh God, in our hearts. Oh Lord, whatever may be the thing that is coming in within and without, which is not of you, oh God. Righteous God, I am asking my Father God that will draw us back unto yourself, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Gracious Father, we come to you this morning. Let the power of God walk mightily once again upon our spirit and upon our soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, I look unto you this morning, O oh God. Looking to my God, everlasting Father, God, I beseech you, whatever thing that is done to take the place of God in our home, in our lives, in our hearts, Amen. Lord, let those things be, be rooted out in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, help me, Amen. Lord, my Father. Amen. Pray. Amen. Now, we are still reading from that passage. In fact, that is our lead passage today. And uh, that verse two, and uh, look at what happened. Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children or eggs I die. Jacob envied her sister. The, there was carnality right there. Envy is a sign of carnality. There's no two way to explain it. Do you know that envy and jealousy have become an issue in the church? And uh, it's very unfortunate, very, very unfortunate. You'll find it uh, being displayed in a subtle way, maybe even in leadership. God is using maybe a particular pastor or a young man. And then before you know, diplomatically, they begin to bring in unnecessary accusation and suppression. Mm -hmm. That's so right. Not, it is envy and jealousy, but rather... They may begin to tell you different things. You are bringing strange fire, you are doing this, you are doing that. And they mm. begin to come for unnecessary things. And then mm. you are one. And then sometimes some of those young men and those men on fire are not able to endure. And then they get out of the church and they go to mm. find their. And then before you know it, the same people will say they are backsliding and they mm. are this and that. And if you check up, the reason for all of those actions that were carried out by them, it was envy and jealousy. And these are the same mm. people who will come and face sanctification experience. What a pathetic mm. situation. We are going to pray and tell the Lord, every carnality in our traces of carnality, envy, mm. you cannot tell me envy is a fruit of the spirit. Never, never, never that the God of heaven will Watch us and cleanse us and purify us. Oh, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, I present my life unto you once again, oh God. Deep down into my heart, oh dear Father, Lord, every form of carnality, every form of carnality, all those crooked nature of the enemy, the traits of the old man, Oh God, all the works of the flesh, calamity, envy, jealousy, they are the works of the flesh, oh God. My God and my Father, God, I present my soul. I present my heart unto you, God, because heaven is meant for holy people, it's not meant for jealous people. Heaven is meant for righteous people, it is not meant for envious people. Oh Lord, I come to you, my God. Almighty God. Let the power of God begin to work upon my soul. Let the power of the cross begin to 
destroy every form of envy and jealousy. Whatever it is of God, my Father, let the power of God begin to flush everything out of my spirit, out of my soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, pour and purify my heart. Amen. to God. Amen. In that verse 1, we are not done with that verse 1. And God saw, and when Rachel saw that she bear no Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said unto Jacob, Give me children or eggs I die. We want to pray for ungodly desperation uh, in the family. You find some women in the family having ungodly desperation. I hope you know that there are women who have driven their husband to their early grave. As a mm. result of this, they will be saying, they will be taunting the man, or maybe the man is not able to get up from issues in the family. And mm. rather than the woman standing in the gap and be praying and be spiritual and be sensitive and be mindful of what she says to her man, because the man himself is not even happy with his state. But here is a woman who is so kind and, and, and uh, insensitive and inconsiderate as well. And she begins to taunt the man. And she begins to say, out of desperation, she begins to say something. And the man, too, out of desperation to take care of the family, he puts his stand into error. Out of desperation to make sure that he corrects situation in the family, he is not sensitive to that this is the handiwork of Satan. And then he responds to all the taunting of the wife. And then he goes into certain things and he, he meets with his early grave and he dies. Now, hmm. regretting and lamenting, we want to pray every demonic desperation in the family. Desperation. Yeah. Desperation for thee, desperation for that, desperation, whatever it is. May the Lord oh, yank it up. Shall we pray? Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Father God, I look unto you this morning, this day, this day, this day. Lord, every form of demonic desperation in my home that is almost wrecking the family, that is almost pulling down the family, that is almost, you know, tearing the family apart, oh God. Almighty God, all those demonic desperation, demonic move that can collapse the family, oh God, I am asking my father god this morning by the power in the name of jesus christ almighty god i am asking this day oh god let those things be removed out of my family out of my life in the name of jesus christ either in the life of my wife in the life of the children oh god wherever it is found oh god let your power begin to walk mightily once again upon our soul this morning, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, righteous God, I look unto you this morning. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God that the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, begin to place and begin to punch and make us whiter than snow, whiter in my spirit, soul, and body, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In that verse 1, I'm not done with that verse 1. In that verse 1, and when Rachel mm -hmm. saw that she bear no children, that became mm -hmm. a limitation in the family. We want to pray that every limitation in our home to Rachel, it was, uh, it was issue of barrenness that was a limitation. Uh, some of us here were already having children, but there could be some other thing that whenever we look at here, we remember it brings tears, it brings pain, it brings agony, it bring a kind of dissatisfaction in our life. Can you identify mm -hmm. quickly and go before God? And when Rachel saw, and maybe when you see certain things in the home, and maybe when you see certain things in your place of work, or maybe when you see certain things in the church, and when Rachel saw, what are you seeing? And then she became desperate, cry unto, actually she cried to the wrong person. And that's what many people do. Jacob is not a producer. They, that actually had even produced children by himself without divine or hey, without divine assistance. We want to pray and say, oh God, in the name of Jesus, whatever limitation that is represented in our family, may the Lord yank it all. Spiritual limitation, yank it all. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
what the God, my Father, God, that that may represent, oh God, in my life, in my own, oh God, my Father, God, Lord, I beseech you this morning by your Spirit and power, my Father, God, let that thing be totally eliminated. Anything contrary, anything that will not promote the glory of God, anything that will not honor God in my own, in my family, oh Lord, mighty Jehovah God, I beseech you this morning. This hour, this day, oh God, let those things be removed by your power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, almighty in God. Mighty name we pray. Amen. It's still in verse 1. And he said, give me children or else I die. She used her tongue wrongly. She Ooh. actually died. She actually, she didn't enjoy her children, you know? She didn't enjoy, uh, uh, what's the name now? Joseph yeah. and Benjamin. Benjamin. He actually died. Give me children or else that. We are told in proverb that life and death are in the power of the tongue. Yeah. All the, the wrong way of using our tongue by wife, by husband, by children. May the blood of Jesus wash it away. May the blood of Jesus cleanse it. The balance of God yes. in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Make everlasting God, circumcise my tongue, oh God. God. And that. also purge my tongue, my that. Father. Purge that. my tongue with the cleansing fire from heaven, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. As you did in the case of Isaiah, by purging all the iniquity, by purging all the negativity, by purging out all the negative confession, by purging out all those you know, non biblical statements, oh God, Almighty God, I am asking my Father God, this day, oh Lord, let the power of God begin to work mightily in my heart, in my thought, in my spirit, in my soul, in my mind, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, I beseech you this day that the mighty hand of God begin to prevail in my soul, in my life, oh God, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I beseech you. Almighty God, I am asking this morning, Almighty God, I am asking once again, O oh Lord, that the power of God begin to operate and begin to prevail upon my soul. This morning, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, please help me. Righteous God, I am asking my Father once again, O oh God, Lord, help me, O oh dear Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty oh. God. Please assist us, O oh Lord. Righteous God, help us by grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the, the, the word that the season will sort proceed out of my mouth. Grace, gracious word to proceed out of my lips, out of my mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help me, O oh God. Okay. Amen. Amen. I come now to verse 2. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel. And he said, Am I in God's state? Am I in God's state? Am I God who have withheld thee or who have withheld from thee the fruit of the womb? Jacob became very angry at the way the wife spoke in a desperation. Yes, yes, there was need for Jacob to respond, but the anger may have been in a way that maybe we cannot describe it because for scripture to say, and Jacob's anger was kindled, kindled against Rachel. And if the wife is angry terribly out of desperation and the husband is angry out of desperation, it's not a good thing. If one of them is angry and the other one can cool down, well, the devil may not enter or penetrate. But both of them talking on top of their voice and getting angry, it can create a crack in the wall. 
and the enemy can just waste that family. Kelly is not taken. We want to cry unto God this morning and tell the Lord, the Lord will help us. We will be patient with our wives. Men, the grace of God will be patient. Sometimes the acting, the, the manner of which some will talk and all that. If you are not correctly sanctified and crucified, you will want to react. I am telling you the truth. And then you want to say, what's the meaning of this? And all that. And then you want to. But that's why there are many things you have to ignore, overlook, and, say, and just do as if you didn't hear, and do as if you didn't, uh, you didn't even listen. As if you are just plastic to it. You are dead to it. You are, you are platonic to it. You are not responding like a kind of dead, dead uh, kind of thing. And you, you, you are just plastic. You are just plastic that it, because if you are to execute anger by certain actions, it can hamper on the spiritual life. May the Lord help us to be self-controlled. May the Lord help us to be temperate. Let's talk to God in prayer, man. Oh God, the grace to be temperate. Oh God, the grace to have more self-denial. The grace, oh Lord, to be more disciplined. The Lord, the Lord grant to us, man. The Lord grant to us, husband. Let's pray and talk to God in prayer. Have you found some women? If you see the way they talk, and then they will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and frustrate the man to almost raise up his hand and beat them mercilessly. And then they will talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and frustrate the man. And the man will just walk out of the house and just go somewhere, stay from morning till night, and then return in the night. There are homes that are going through a lot in the heart of their sharp razor blade white. There are razor blade white, razor blade whose mouth are full of cursing, whose mouth are full of taunting, whose mouth are full of demeaning word, derogatory word, insulting word. Our wives will not be like that. When we have spiritual wives, when we have women who are considerate of their husband, women who are responsible, not only that women, in the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We're reading that verse. Uh, we're still reading that verse too. Yes. We're reading verse two. So I'm waiting for two. Please, uh, sorry for the, the cry. She will be attended to me. In verse two, and Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel, and he said, Am I in God's stead? Who had withheld thee from the foot of the womb? And she said, Behold, my hand maid, be her going unto her, and she shall bear upon my knees, that I might also have children by her. You see now. Sometimes it is. You want to pray and tell the Lord that the kind of problem, challenges that will come your way, and you will not be able to withstand, and you take a wrong decision. May the Lord not. Allow. In fact, as a matter of fact, uh, the scripture says God will not even allow you to be tempted above what you can carry. But we are going to pray that God will help us that in times of challenge. <laughs> We will not lay our hands on iniquity. We will not lay our hand on evil. You find some men or some women, and then because of the way in marriage, the woman will say, honey, I don't care. You can go out. 
I impregnate anybody, just uh, they agree with the person, bring baby and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And then they just make some ungodly decision just to solve their problem. And it might not even be married, it might be something else. They just, you see, all them and wife, they just agree on something ungodly, like the way Anani and Safira did. They just agree on something very ungodly and then do something bad and just to, for the whatever. And that there are men and women like that. The husband and the wife will just agree to tell lies. The husband and the wife will just agree to do evil. And then because of challenges of life, they want to solve their problem. And while they are trying to solve their problem, they are committing more sin against God. They will not go in that direction. The Lord will help us. That will always be on the path of God, in spite challenges, in spite trials of life that will come our way. Shall we talk to God in prayer? In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And amen. I'm waiting again. And in verse 4. And she gave him Behad, her uh, answer to wife. And Jacob went on to her. And Behad began to song. And Jacob said, God has told me. And I told him to call Paul his name down. And so on and so forth. So read uh, this. Of, uh, of Jacob here, you discover that after Richard had taken that decision of releasing uh, Anne May, and the Anne May put her gave birth, and then they call the name of that uh, that Dan, and that's the, the one they call the tribe of Dan, the tribe of Dan, there's a tribe called the tribe of Dan, and then we have other tribes like that in Israel. The decision of Rachel was not something that uh, was scriptural. No, this was just a deviation from normal because the scripture said from the beginning it was not so. God intended only one man and one woman, not one man and two women, not one uh, woman and two men, but one man and one woman. But there was a deviation. And what, what about the deviation here? Challenges of life contributed to that deviation. Okay, uh, and then they will tell you the reason they went into adultery is that they are not able to assess their wives and they are not able to assess this and they are not able to assess that. Yes, the truth is that there's no excuse that is tenable before God for doing evil. God will see God evil, whether you have reason for doing Of course, everybody has reason for doing evil, but come to think of it. Some of those women who are doing that purposely or deliberately, not that they are sick. You wonder why they are doing what they are doing. Some of them may not even know they are under the influence of Satan. Now to deny their husband their conjugal rights and they thereby frustrate their husband and all that. They are going to pay every situation from normal, every kind of uh, a lifestyle and behavior and disposition that will cause an untold pain, attack of Satan, that will bring about Satan entry into the family and destroy the family. May God not allow it. May God help my wife to be sensitive. May God help my husband to be sensitive. May God help both of us to help each other so that by and by, we will go together and heaven, which is our final destination, we will get to. Shall we pray? Oh, Jesus. 
Jesus in human beings just gone by the hand of the Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Uh, amen. Amen. In verse 22, in verse 22 of that chapter 30, verse 22, please can you hear me? Yes. Tennessee chapter 30, verse 22. And God remember Rachel. May God remember you. May Amen. God remember Rachel. And God remember Rachel. Rachel may have thought that she was forgotten by God. Eventually, she was remembered. God remembered her. And God acting to her. What does that mean? That means she prayed. That means she prayed. God acting to her. That means she prayed. And God opened a womb. We want to pray right now. Are there women on our platform, parent? Are there women on our platform who have no children? Are there women on our platform? God and Rachel, our womb was open. The womb of our women will be open. In the name of the Lord. Do you know anyone? Parent, who have been married, no children. Married, no children. May the Lord open their womb. May the Holy Ghost open their womb. May the Lord remember. God will remember Rachel. God will remember Rachel. God will remember Rachel. That God is still alive. May the Lord remember them. May the Lord grant them. In the name of Jesus. Holy Father, righteous God, we pray all our sisters, all our women. God, who are looking up to you for the fruit of the womb, who go we pray, you will remember them. The Bible says, and God remembered, who oh God is yes, Oh God, I pray you will remember them. And God remembered Rachel. Oh God, I pray you will remember them. And God remembered Anna. Oh God, I pray you will remember them. And God remembered Elizabeth. Oh God, I pray you will remember, oh God, all our sister. Oh God, I pray all our sisters, all our families. Who go waiting for you for the foot of the womb? Who oh Lord, we pray you will remember them. You will remember them. You will remember them. You will wipe their tears away. All the secret tears you will take away. All the tears you will take away. All the anguish of their soul you will take away. Who oh God? Anna said, "Out of the abundant complaint of my heart, I have poured out my heart unto you." Who oh God? Many of them, who oh God, are having complaint in their heart. Many of them are having, oh God, the care of life upon their heart. Many of them, oh God, have been choked, have been eaten up, oh God, by the Oh Lord, we pray. You said in your word, you said that my God shall take away all their sorrow, all their crying. You said there shall be no more crying, there shall be no more sorrow. Oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, all the sorrow in their life, we pray you will take away. Oh Lord, take it 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 away. Oh Lord, visit all our sisters. Oh God, visit all our families. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, Holy Father, righteous God, you said in your word that no one will be buried in the land. That is the word of God. That is the promise, oh God, you give unto us. Oh Lord, I pray, no man, no woman, oh God, will be buried in our land, in our land, in the name of Jesus, in our family, no barrenness, in the name of Jesus, in our churches, no barrenness, in the name of Jesus, in our home, no barrenness, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Amen. 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 God opened my womb. Every blockage on the womb of our sister, I know so many of them. They be married. So many of them. I mean, many. I have been praying. And the thank God, one of them, I had to go and attend the naming ceremony. In fact, I was the one that handled the courses. I was the one. Because the joy. Uh, well, well, I, I, we, when, when we saw that God has, God has displayed his power and show mercy, we removed that from our praying list. And all that, uh, I mean, from the people we mentioned in the place of prayer. And then we know okay, that one has been taken care of. And I still have to keep it. It has become an issue in our family. We pray for people that we wonder if it, that the devil blocked the womb, enemy blocked the womb. There are some of the bad in them that are not ordinary. Please, let's get something clear. Let's get something clear. And it's not all of them that are ordinary. We want to declare their womb open. In that Amen. name of... We blocked from the people. 
I command right now for be cleared up in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my the Father will come before you in the name of Jesus. Holy God, the Bible tells us that if we had decreed a thing, it shall be established unto us. You told us, oh God, Father Jesus, you gave us a promise. You said, speak to this mountain and that will be moved. And without that in our hearts, you said it shall be according to our words. Holy Father, we decree every blockage, oh God, in the fallopian womb, every blockage in the fallopian tube, every blockage in the uterus, every blockage, oh God, in any form, oh God, Father, of the reproductive cell God, system of the man, of the woman. Holy Father, we pray that the blood of Jesus will clear it. The blood of Jesus will clear it. The bulldozer of heaven will, will pull it out. In the name of Jesus, Holy Father, we pray. Let the bulldozer of heaven, 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 clear it now, clear it now. In the name of Jesus, every blockade in the womb, oh God, I pray, let it be removed, let it be removed, let it be removed by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, let it be flushed out, 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 blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, who oh, yeah, begin to walk in that fallopian womb, in that fallopian tube, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, begin to walk in that man, in that woman, in that name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, who oh, yeah, are flush it out, who oh, Lord I pray we declare October, 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 the month of open womb, open the womb, open, 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 womb open, womb open, womb open, open womb. Amen. Amen. Very, very interesting passage. Very, very interesting passage. Listen, in verse 23. And she conceived and bear a son. Our Amen. sister will conceive. After Amen. this when a year story, they will conceive in Jesus' name. And she Amen. bear a son. Oh, that's instructive. And she bear and said, God has taken away my reproach. May God take away the reproach. As many of Amen. them will be that those who are barren and then we find men who are working, they're not able to take away, take care of their family. And the reproach is there. Uh, in fact, the neighbors are wondering, what kind of God is this one serving? And then people are working. God said, what kind of reproach? God took away the reproach. And God took away the reproach. But that took away the reproach. Away. What report have you identified in your family? What report? What limitation have you identified? You want to pray and say, Oh God, look at this report. Oh God, look at this one. Lord, look at this one. Is it spiritual? Is it physical? Is it social? Is it mental? Is it academic? Any area. Let us report. Almighty Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above every other name, the name of power, the name of fire, the name of supernatural anointed with supernatural grace. Holy Father, we pray in that precious name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, every reproach in our family, every marital reproach, every financial reproach, every academic reproach, oh God, I pray. Every reproach, oh God, every health reproach, we pray in the name of Jesus. By the power in that name, let the reproach be removed. Let the reproach be removed. You reproach be removed. You reproach be removed. Every reproach be removed. Be removed by the blood of Jesus. Be removed by the power of God. We blow it out. We blot it out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Look, look, look at something here. This woman learned a lesson later. Uh, only that, uh, well, only that, okay? maybe, maybe, I cannot tell because in that one, she said, give me children, yes, I died. S a die. That was a wrong language. S a die. But we need to sing that. Song. Give me children. Let us die. There are some songs we sing. There are some things we say. Words are very powerful. Yeah. All that the way of moderating things and orchestrating things without we offering certain words. Now look at what happened here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going somewhere. Verse 24. And she called his name Joseph. Look at it all and say that is Rachel speaking. Oh, it's Rachel speaking here. Oh, and she called his name, that is the child's name Joseph. 
and say the Lord shall add to me another. How do you explain that? Do, do we understand what happened here? She just gave birth to Joseph. It was not true, you know. It was not true. Just Joseph. She now said, the Lord shall add. <laughs> do we understand? That is that's a prophetic statement, right? That's a kind of sign into our own life. The Lord shall add. I'm not saying no children. And what I mean is, she was able to declare what she wanted. She was able to proclaim what she wanted. And exactly like that. <laughs> Hey, my God, we want to pray. There's a lesson there. Before I come to that lesson, okay, maybe I should bond it together. We're going to pray right now. Number one, she gave birth to Joseph, and Joseph was more than one million children. Joseph was more than, may the Lord give us amazing children. May our children become deliverers. The children we are giving birth to will be deliverers. Ah, the children we are giving birth to will not be vagabond. The children we are giving birth to will not be way children. We are reading your mobile. We are reading the story of mobile. In one of my platforms, we took time to analyze the life of that young man. We took time to explain and analyze. And we saw it not and we saw, oh no, that led me to post something on the on, on Facebook. Uh, mobile. That somebody name. That somebody name himself mobile. Mobile. Ah in that name of Jesus Christ, our children will become children they will not become charlatan children. They will not become familiar children. We are giving birth to deliver. We are giving birth to deliver. We are giving birth to deliver. You better declare God's servant. You better declare people of God. Our children will be delivered. In their generation, they will be delivered. They will be champions. They will be, they will be people who will influence their generation for God. Not children that will become nuisance. Children that will give high in, in the name of Jesus. We come before you, oh God. We commit our children unto you. Oh Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Our children, oh God, will be known, oh God, we, we, we know we be known of God. Our children, oh God, will be a servant of God. Our children, oh God, will love the Lord. Oh God, I pray our children, after they have started well in the church, after they have known the will of the, the way of the Lord, they will not depart in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray that you will make our children, oh God, like the daughters of Philip. Oh God, who we are chaste, who we are virgin, who we are uncompromising. Holy Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. You will make our children, oh God, like Isaac. Oh God, even after knowing that the father was going to sacrifice him, oh, he was so submitted to the will of God. Holy Father, we pray you will give us children after your own heart. You will give us children who love the Lord. You will give us children who are devoted to you. You will give us children who will follow you. You will give us children, oh God, Amen. Amen. Let me quickly make a declaration this morning. As Rachel said, the Lord shall add to me. I pray right now, whatever deficiency Lenny Home represented this morning, there will be an addition. There will be an addition. <laughs> a declaration of Rachel and what brings in into the family exactly as she desired, exactly as she every declaration of this morning, every declaration, everything we have told you in the place of prayer, beyond that, oh God, Jesus, Lord, prayer, you will give us testimony. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank Jesus. you, Father. Amen. Amen. We shall quickly go to the, uh, of the Psalm 145, verse 9. Psalm 145, verse 9. And said, The Lord is good to all, and all his tender masses are, all, are over all his work. That means when you look at another Bible, it said, God has compassion over us. We will now go on to the Lord and tell him that God, in any way I go, in any way I lay my my feet, in any way I, I in whatsoever I touch, in, 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 where, in wherever I see myself, Father, let me receive your compassion in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Tell God that, oh my Father, all what I need is your compassion. Before my wife, before my children, 
before my before before my before my boss before my bosses before my friends before the neighbors before whosoever call upon the name of the Lord that is it is promise it is promise call upon the name of the Lord Almighty Father I just need your compassion I just need your compassion you will see many people when they are narrating things to you you will see that what they are passing through is a grace of Almighty God and you will see many people when they are narrating to you, you will see that he has no ability. His blood, his water cannot do that, but he receives compassion. And you will see that you open your mouth, you say, Ah, I know Lemon River. Call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, my dear Father, I pray by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Before my wife, before my in law, before my friend, before my enemy, before my employer, before my children. Oh, my dear Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. King of King, let me receive compassion. Oh, no, 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 so <laughs> I'm not ready for 
Holy Father, we are grateful unto you. Thank you very much because your mercy already has found expression in our life. The Bible says, Thou shalt have mercy and have mercy for science for the time to favor us from ye the set time. Holy God, we ask that your mercy, the true sense of it, will be seen in our lives and our activity, in our home, in our marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, Amen. the Bible stand by their own sword, by their own hand, but they, but thy content and the life of their content and the father of the evil of to them. In Scripture, so they can fight as well. For the Lord will take the right of with people with them from passing about as shield. Let favor them from pass us. Let favor them out. Let favor pass our children. Let favor them out. And our life, Amen. Of the Lord is seen. We have to see we have to see we have to we have to see that 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 we in the place of prayer, we have to see that 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 we have to see May that mercy be fully expressed in our lives. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, do not forget us.